Madison. Thank you for that uh, great speech. Our next uh, speech we're going to hear from is from the University of Mobile. And to introduce our speaker, Bestie is going to do the honors for us. Uh, tonight, I have the pleasure of introducing a remarkable individual who embodies the essence of what it means to be a student athlete. Since joining the University of Mobile in 2020, Ty Turner has not only showcased his exceptional talent on the field, but has also emerged as a pillar of strength and leadership within our program. Ty is the total package, a dedicated student, a phenomenal player, but what truly sets him apart is his character. He is an even better person someone who inspires his teammates both on and off the field. His journey has been one of resilience, he has faced challenges and setbacks head on, and ultimately rose to become our number one goalkeeper. We are incredibly proud to have Ty Turner as part of our family, and we look forward to seeing all the great things he will accomplish in the future. Thanks for that, Bessie. <clears throat> All right. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ty Turner. I'm a fifth year senior at the University of Mobile. Before I get started, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Mike for giving me the honor of standing before all of you tonight. Also, congratulations to everyone on a fantastic season so far and to the future award winners that will be recognized here tonight. When looking back on my journey as a student athlete, I can confidently say that there were many sacrifices made, friendships formed, lessons learned, and heartbreaks experienced. We all know what it takes to be a fully devoted student athlete, juggling all of life's responsibilities with, with what feels like just one hand. School, practice, social life, relationships, family, and other extracurriculars seem to all blend into one thing during the school year. While most people would shy away and run in the other direction, I admire all of you here tonight because you've done the exact opposite. In response to a challenge that not many people take on, you've avoided the beaten path. You've responded with grit, resilience, determination, and hard work. These are characteristics that we have all learned to be very familiar with and will carry on with us for the rest of our lives. During my time at the University of Mobile, I've been very blessed to be surrounded by a great group of guys and have formed some incredible friendships that I will carry with me for the future. Being from around the area of Mobile, I never would have thought that some of my best friends would be from all over the world. My teammates are much more than just teammates. They are family to me. The bond that we've created during the journey that we've shared is truly unbreakable. We've shared in some pretty incredible times together while also sharing in some disheartening ones. I thought the biggest heartbreak I would face would be losing the national championship in 2022, but I was wrong. Just a few short months later, I was told some things that truly broke me. Thankfully, I knew that I could count on my parents, teammates, and friends to encourage, support, and listen to me. Through this time, this is when I realized that I was putting my identity in soccer. As athletes, we often allow how we perform on the, on the field to determine our self-worth. This could not be any further from the truth. As I was walking through this, I was blessed enough to be shown grace through, from Christ. I was able to receive true freedom from that bondage which comes through him and him alone. While looking back on my time as a student athlete, I would like to leave you guys with three things that I've learned and that I will carry with me, even after I'm no longer an athlete. Number one, be where your feet are at. Although it's good to set goals and to be ambitious, don't get so far ahead of yourself that you miss what's right in front of you. Number two, not everyone's path is the same. Everyone's journey through athletics and life in general is going to be different. For the very few and lucky people, it's going to be linear. But for the rest of us, it will not look or be linear in the slightest. It will have wrong turns, dead ends, and obstacles along the way. But all of these adversities are merely opportunities to grow. And number three, as cliche as it is, enjoy every day like it's your last. For the younger class this year, there will be a day that soccer comes to an end. For the majority of us, we'll hang up our cleats and move on to the next chapter of our lives. When that day comes, we'll no longer be playing the sport that we once loved. However, the core values that have been instilled in us through this beautiful game will set us up to succeed in all of our future endeavors. And lastly, as I close here tonight, I would like to leave you all with some encouragement. Coming from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, Paul says, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, and I have kept the good faith. As we begin to wrap up this season, allow us to be like the Apostle Paul whenever we look back on what we've gone through, hoping that we can all say that we fought the good fight, finished the race, and most importantly, kept our faith. Thank you all again. Good luck to everyone this weekend. Thank you, Just give that